Yes, people, what is going on? So today I'm going to show you a 10 minute ladder workout that you can do to improve your foot speed. So how the workout's going to go is that we're going to perform in 10 exercises, working for 30 seconds and resting for 30 seconds on each exercise. I've said it before and I'll say it again, foot speed is so important for football because the quicker we can move our feet, the quicker we can change direction and the quicker we can run. But yeah, that's enough talk from me. Let's get on with the workout. Bosh. The first exercise we're going to go through is single steps. So for this drill, you want to go through the ladder, putting one foot in each space along the way. As you go through the ladder, you want to drive your arms and knees to generate speed and power, as well as trying to replicate sprinting. As you reach the end of the ladder, you want to turn back around and repeat the drill. Continue to repeat this exercise until the time is up. So let's get ready to go. The second exercise we're going to be performing is a double step. Very similar to the single step exercise, but rather than putting one foot between each space, you're going to put two feet. When going through the ladder, you want to replicate the same technique, so really driving those arms and knees, trying to generate as much speed and power as you possibly can. As soon as you reach the end of the ladder, you want to turn back around and repeat the drill until the time is up. The third exercise we're going to be performing is the lateral double step. This exercise is very similar to the double step, but rather than moving through the ladder in a straight line, we're going to be moving through the ladder sidewards. For this exercise, you want to continue to replicate driving your arms and knees as fast as you possibly can to generate that speed and power. And when you reach the end of the ladder, you want to continue to repeat the exercise in the opposite direction. The fourth exercise we're going to be performing is foot switches. For this exercise, you want to stand facing sidewards against the ladder and put one foot within the ladder and one foot out of the ladder. You then want to work your way through the ladder, alternating each foot along the way. Look to alternate your feet as fast as you possibly can when working through the ladder. When you reach the end of the ladder, you want to continue to repeat the exercise in the opposite direction. The fifth exercise we're going to be performing is two feet in and out. This exercise is very similar to foot switches, but rather than moving through the ladder, putting one foot in each space, you want to put both feet in each space. For this exercise, you want to move your feet as fast as you possibly can in and out of each space. When you reach the end of the ladder, you want to continue to repeat the exercise in the opposite direction.
The sixth exercise we're going to go through is jump in and out. For this exercise, you want to work your way through the ladder, jumping in and out of each space. You want to continue to repeat this process until you reach the end of the ladder. As soon as you reach the end of the ladder, you want to continue to repeat the drill, but performing the exercise backwards. The seventh exercise we're going to go through is scissors. For this exercise, you want to stand facing sidewards against the ladder and put one foot in the ladder and one foot out of the ladder. For this exercise, you want to stand at an angle as if you were jockeying. You then want to work your way through the ladder, twisting your body and alternating each foot along the way. Look to alternate your feet as fast as you possibly can. When you reach the end of the ladder, you want to continue to repeat the exercise in the opposite direction. The eighth exercise we're going to go through is double leg slalom. For this exercise, you want to stand with two feet together on the outside of the ladder. You then want to work your way through the ladder, jumping from one side to the other. As you move from one side to the other, you should be making sure you're jumping in each space along the way. When jumping through, look to go as fast as you possibly can, whilst maintaining good balance and coordination. As soon as you reach the end of the ladder, you want to turn back around and repeat the exercise. The ninth exercise we're going to go through is hops. This exercise is very self-explanatory in that you want to move through the ladder, hopping in each space along the way. When hopping through the ladder, look to move through it as fast as you possibly can whilst maintaining good balance and coordination. As soon as you reach the end of the ladder, you want to turn back around and hop through the ladder with the opposite leg. Continue to alternate each leg when you're hopping once you reach the end of the ladder. The 10th and final exercise we're going to go through is the Icky Shuffle. For this exercise you want to essentially weave through the ladder as fast as you possibly can. So you want to place two feet in the ladder and then place one foot on the outside of the ladder and then with the other leg bring it forward to the next space. You then want to bring the opposite leg into the space and continue to repeat the exercise until the end of the ladder. As soon as you reach the end of the ladder you want to continue to repeat the exercise just performing it backwards.
So it's a 10 minute ladder workout that you can do to improve your foot speed. Like I said beforehand, and like I say again, foot speed is so important for football because the quicker we can move our feet, the quicker we can change direction, and the quicker we can run. But yeah, that's enough talk from me. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But until next time,